YouTube, welcome back. No money spent. We're after it again today. We are doing mini seasons. I'm actually getting ready to finish the mini seasons. That's kind of where I'm at with it right now. I've been kind of grinding a little bit of the Team Affinity one just to uh, do it without finishing the Lefty Lucy. But I've got two games left in this. We've got two championship games left and then we are done with this one and then we got Mark Mulder and then some other packs and stuff like that to open as well. I gotta be honest, I really thought this was gonna be more efficient for Team Affinity grinding, 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 but it doesn't, uh, I mean, it doesn't really look that way. I don't think it's changed a whole lot. I don't remember what it was the last video we did, which y'all saw how much progress was. I don't feel like I've gone very far though, especially on the NL side of things over here. It just still kind of looks like not a whole lot's been done, but the AL is getting, getting close. But I started the other Team Affinity mini season one just to get the vouchers and hopefully speed the process up a little bit so we'll see we're a little we're about halfway done with that first one i've still got a bunch of missions on players and stuff we're doing and that'll kind of uh hopefully hopefully pick up a little bit there but for today lefty loosey let's finish this thing let's get this mark Mulder card in the rotation i've got some other packs i want to open as well that we've kind of got along the way we're getting really really close to being at the end of the first uh is it season is that what it is the first season's xp reward path we're getting really close to being done with that so once we finish that up we will have everything done for the first season i can't believe i'm saying that i didn't honestly think i'd get it done that quick but we are moving along very very quickly here it's the lefty grove adam I'm also trying to get as much recording done as humanly possible right now because we got another line of shitty weather coming through tonight and I'm trying to get done before my house gets taken away by a tornado. Let's drop the fork ball low and away so we can get a little swing and a miss, get that first K out of the way. Okay, or not, we'll take the we'll take the ground out the first though. So I gotta be honest, the mini season grind has not been bad. I kind of employed the strategy most people of uh you've probably seen mentioned before where you win about 15 games and then just quit out of the rest of them so you don't have to play all 28 it's worked it's worked i mean obviously it's not efficient for grinding player missions because you want to play as much as possible but just to get through the lefty loose you want to get the mark motor card if that's what you're looking for here if you want to get that taylor rogers card as well not bad just kind of grind through this do the do the 15 wins quit out of the other games and go right to the playoffs and knock it out I'm at the, let me score three runs. We're gonna employ the bunt rule strategy. God, this Kershaw card. I still, no matter how many games of MLB the show I play, Bumgarner and Clayton Kershaw. I had something about them, dude. I can't hit them. I don't know what it is. They drive me absolutely insane. Come on, Reggie. Come on, Reggie. Oh, that's, yeah, it's not gonna do it. I can't, I just can't read the pitches out of Kershaw's hands. I don't know, it's always been a problem. I don't think it's ever gonna change. I need him to hurry the fuck up and retire. All right, so I've honestly been trying to give Pinpoint a solid run here. I've been using it for pretty much the last like five days straight hardcore. It just, it still doesn't feel right. There's something about it. I don't know what it is. Something is just off this year. And I said it before that I was going to, uh, I was going to stick with analog until this got fixed. I think I am going to go back to analog until we get at least some type of gameplay update. And they try to address whatever the issue is. I just, I would like to know what it is, why there's, we're not going to talk about the way I'm pitching right now, but I feel like my stick, like, I feel like I got like awkward stick drift using this, which I don't have in other games. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. I got to lock it in. I'm not trying to play three games today. I want to play these two and be done with this. So let's, uh, let's lock it in and take a, put Poche in. So with complete and utter bias, I think we need to have some more discourse on the fact that Jordan is the best hitter in baseball. Just not when I'm using him. Can we get this Kershaw out of the game, like please? Cause my God, he's, he refuses to throw anything in the zone. Look at this, all three pitches, he just nibble it. Come on, look at that. Sweet God, I can, like he, he throws nothing but the damn circle change and bullshit outside, I can't do it. All right. Come on, Colin, get me through here. No runs given up. I'm not playing three games today. Let's let's freaking go. I can't find my glasses. So I can't lock it in with the eyeballs. We're just hoping the thumb does its thing. Doesn't help that it's eight o'clock in the morning. I literally got up, had a Red Bull and sat down at the station. It's time to grind. I had zero intention of recording this early too, but I literally like, so I get up and I walk in the kitchen to get a bottle of water and there's the wife at eight o'clock with the headset on already grinding her game. Like what in the hell is going on? 
absolute degenerates today. All right, can I get a walk off? Newt Bar, sir, bring the big stick to the plate today. I can tell it's too early to play this game though. My eyeballs are twitching as the slider goes across the screen. I can't see it. Like I'm literally like it's, I can see it stop and then it goes again. I don't know what the hell's going on. Is this what getting old feels like? Cause we are, we, we are there. All right, Seeger, come on brother. One blast, one swing. I just realized we ain't got a hit yet in this game. It has been disgusting. Get through. There we go. Okay, we got something going. Can I just drive him in? Brandon Lau. This card actually kind of slaps. Oh, there's the gapper. There's the gapper. 60 speed. Can we go first to home? We're going for it. Give me the dub. Kyle Seeger, get on your horse, big fella. Mm, one down. Great, we go from Kershaw to Valenzuela. Like, can it get any freaking worse? I mean, I guess it could have been Bumgarner, Gardner, but Valenzuela, fuck him too. I mean, if he's gonna throw fastballs, this is gonna be fine, but if he's gonna throw that damn 70 something mile an hour curveball. Oh, see, okay, we're late on 91. That's <laughs> that's not an ideal sign, but that Lau card has got stupid power. That almost carried, like it was so far under that. Oh, Reggie, come on. I see, I called it a curve. Is it a screwball? Is that what he throws? I thought it was a curve. I could be wrong. Either way, it sucks. All right, he has touched every pitch we've thrown. Can we get him on the circle chain? Oh my God, the location is just God off. Let's make, you know what? I want to see. Let's make the change. All right, pure analog. Can we dot the first pitch we throw? Probably not, but we're going to try it. That's so much better. I mean, he hit it, but that location felt so much better. But I gotta be honest, the circle that it has the opportunity to land in. I hate how big this is. I get it for analog, okay, you wanna have that? that that's that's one thing. That should not be a thing in pinpoint. Like, if you locate, you hit perfect, it should go exactly where the hell you put it. All right, Big Daddy Jordan. Can we do something here? Sweet baby Jesus, that ball went to the fucking moon. Let's go. My man almost ran straight to second. He wasn't even going to go to first. <laughs> he was beelining for second. All right, now we're kind of dialed in. Now we're waking up. The eyeballs aren't twisting as much. We're good to go. Joe Morgan's out here with a double. That's a good sign because I can normally hit shit with this card. We get a King Tuck bomb while we're at it. We can't, but that's going to go. Oh! oh. What a stop. No bad throw. What a stop, though. I can't preach how important it is for me to get three runs in this before we get to the bottom of the third inning. The sheer amount of bombs I have given up to either have the game tied at two or them take a lead when I've only got one run is stupid. The CPU is just like the clutchest thing ever. Mejia, get down. Holy shit, he played shallow on that one. Hater, give me the meatball. Oh, I need a quick inning here from Snell. Very, very quick inning, and then I'll feel better. I just want to get through this one inning with Snell. Don't make me, I don't want to change pitchers. The stamina is atrocious in these three inning games. Oh, thank you, Duke. Probably shouldn't throw the curveball because I mislocate this all the time. That actually worked out perfectly. It was a horrible location, but it worked out perfectly. Give me the K on the slider. We'll take the ground ball out. All right, Seeger's through. Or not Seeger. Freaking Snell's through another one. We need at least one run. One insurance run here because I know they're going to hit at least one bomb. That's just the way it goes. We got a. Who we got up? We got Alvarado up. That'll work. I am so early today. Holy crap. Oh, Reggie, not like this. Bad throw, no bad throw. All right, we got a one run lead, we got to protect. I am not going to game three. Alvarado's got to come in a deal here. Michael Harris scares the shit out of me. Alvarado's control scares the shit out of me too. Bro, the size of the circle on his fastball, look at this, holy crap. It's almost the whole friggin' zone, it can go anywhere. 
It can also give you the K in the game. Oh, no, it was two outs. Never mind. I got ahead of myself. We were excited for no reason. We got one pitch for all the marbles. We're taking the... Are we going down? We're going up. Fastball up. Give me the goods. Or, or don't. And with the cutter outside. Give me the swing. There we go. All right. Alvarado locks it up. We got the damn mini seasons done. Let's go get our freaking rewards. All right. That was a... Gr I literally did this all day yesterday. I no lifed the hell out of this mini season mode. I did that and watched baseball and then went outside and burned a bunch of branches. That was my whole day. Boom. All right. We got him. There's the molder. Let's go. Can I see the stats? I can't click on the card and see the stats. All right. We'll check that out when we get there. So we got 15 show packs and a ball and plus the championship banner in that bundle there. We got some other stuff we got to rip too. That's good. Haters, season champions, GGs. All right, so this is what we're rocking here. We've got some more charisma stuff we got to do. Like I said, I've been on that affinity grind. It's just taking a lot longer than I want to. We got another season one boss path, boss path, boss, boss pack. English motherfucker, do you speak it? The path word threw me off there. Okay. And then, like I said, a bunch of other random stuff here. So let's go ahead and uh, we know what we're going to do with the, I hate this pack passion. Let's go ahead and pop this one because it doesn't really matter who we take here. We've got the mad bomb. We've got Davis. We got Lee Smith. I'm taking Biggio just because it's Biggio and I'm probably not going to use him. We might throw him in there for a game or two. He might for the Astros theme team. We'll see what happens. He can make his way in the lineup there. Wait, do we open? How does this work? We just open this, right? And it gives us everything here. What is this? That is okay. It's the banner, balling packs, bunch of show packs. Okay, so we got everything there. 26 show packs, five ballins. And then the other stuff here. So Charisma, AL East. We've already got the Wander Franco card and I absolutely love him. He is going to be my lockdown and short for a while here. All, all five of these cards honestly look really good. The problem is, I don't know how many of them are going to crack our lineup here. I would love to use Stanton just to have power, but I have no room for him in the outfield. Maybe DH would be the play for him. Boba shit I can't really hit with. I heard this Rafael Devers is absolutely nasty. Cedric Mullins has always got a really good swing as well. I honestly think, I think I'm going to go Stanton. I know I said I'm a Yankee hater. For whatever reason, Stanton is the one Yankee that I've always liked. Maybe it's just because from his Miami days, I don't know, but I've always enjoyed him. Plus the fact that the Yankees fans used to boo the shit out of him, always annoyed the hell out of me. So we're taking Stan. We might we, we might find a way to get him in his DH. NL East, this is another pack that is a difficult, difficult choice here. You got four really good cards and then Joey Meniscus. But unfortunately, I don't know who's gonna play. McNeil's probably the closest one that could play in the lineup, but that power is disgusting, but he's got a ton of utility. And the contact is great, but it's Acuna. How do you pass on Ronald Acuna? But where do I play Ronald Acuna? This card doesn't look as good as I thought, but his swing is so gross. You know, Jorge Soler, Reese Hoskins, two really good power bats. We're going Acuna because it's, I mean, you don't, you got to. It's Ronald Acuna. World Baseball Classic Pack. This is another one. Some really good cards here. I was going to go Robbie Cano, but I don't think we're going to go that route now. We've already got Freddie Freeman. We've got the Moncada card here. I want to take Jung Hu Lee, Young Hu Lee, one of those Hu Lees. His card looks really, really, really fun. And I'm not as in love with Lou Bob in center field as I once was. So this could be, but damn it, we've got so many lefty bats in the lineup already. I'm going to take him regardless. All right, Lefty Lucy pack here. We've already got the card we wanted out of this. We also took the Prince Fielder as well. So we got him and we've got Taylor Rogers here. We're just going to take Randy because it's Randy and we love Randy. So Randy Johnson is here. Season one boss pack here. Second one we've got to open. We've already taken Murakami and that might be... It's a tie right now for me. It's either Murakami or that 99 Tucker are the two best cards that I've used in this game. I absolutely love them. I really wanted to take Lindor here, but we need starting pitching in the worst way. And I feel like Bob Gibson is the absolute play here. He's got a really solid pitch mix, ton of velo on it. He's somewhat funky on the mound. He's got a weird wind up delivery sequence going on there. I think we're going to take Gibson here because we need at least one premier starter that we feel good with. So we're taking Bob Gibson. All right, so favorite part of MLB The Show, baby. Pack ripping time. Let's go. Let's rip these show packs. See if we get any luck today. Last pack opening wasn't terrific. We hit a couple of diamonds. Nobody was big, though. I don't expect a lot in only 20 some odd packs here. If we get lucky, it's great. We got a gold there, Evan Phillips. 
at this point we're still hoping to get just something we don't have that's kind of where i'm at with it we're getting we're making really good progress in the live series collection and that's that's all you can ask for early in the game so that is not the diamond we were looking for of course it wasn't on that side what we got here is it worth, i mean it could be worth something i don't know holy shit that is worth a lot that is going on the marketplace good grief it's almost 30 i mean we're gonna sell that for probably right around 35k i don't know what the the listings are but yes sir let's go so you see the stuff count up top here we're looking pretty damn good now that's after going in and buying a few players that i wanted the yordans of the world oh yes oh yes come on no perps baby give me the good blues oh sweet jesus let's go what do we got what do we got? It's early in the day. Are we about to hit a good one? I'm gonna wake my kid up in there. Is this 99? Oh, it was 91. Okay, live series. Okay, all right, we'll take that. We'll take that. I don't know what he's going for. That's uh, that could be a big hit. What's the money going for it, Evan? I haven't looked at that card yet. Okay, that's that's not horrible at all. Not horrible at all. A little bit less than what we sold the Scherzer for but we will take that. That's, a, that's a, I mean, we've got two solid profit cards here today. Anything else is just a bonus at this point. Like I said, I'm very, very happy with what we got. Rizzo, I don't think we've had that one yet. So getting golds that we don't have, that's also a bonus. It's one less thing we got to go in and buy. Silver, Dylan Tate, 10 more cards or 10 more packs to go. Another bronze. Like I said, no complaints here today with what little bit of packs we had to pull. A 90 plus diamond plus that really good what was it a wristband I could bat wraps I don't know what the hell it was all I know is it's going for 34k that's all I care about that thing is going up really quickly final three packs I gotta say man the the, the diamond pools like not necessarily what diamonds we're getting just the sheer amount of diamonds we've gotten early in the game from nothing but free packs keep in mind we have not bought a single bundle in this game I'm pretty damn happy with it. There's the supercharged Robbie Grossman. Last show pack here before we get into the ball ins. That'll work. That will work. All right. Five ball ins. They were horrible to us last time. We had 14. Not a single diamond came out of it. Let's see if that luck will change at all here within five packs. Probably not. Two golds back to back here. I think neither one of those golds we had either. So that's positive. Drew Rasmussen. Don't think I had him either. So we're getting a lot of stuff we don't have. That's awesome. Okay. Woodruff, I know for a fact we've had. Last one. Can I get a diamond? We cannot. We get a double gold pack and we got two that we already have. Okay. So, I mean, not a horrible. Not horrible at all. We got we, the Edward Diaz. Was, I can't believe we got a good pool like that in that, in that few of packs. So, that'll work. We're going to put those cards up. I'm probably going to put Diaz up. I haven't decided yet. I'll probably sell him and just look to buy him again at some point when the price starts coming down, assuming that it's gonna come down. I, I, I don't know, it might stay there for a while. So we'll, just, we'll, we'll debate on that one, but we're gonna put the other card up, sell that, that's gonna put us up around 250, 260K in the stub in the stub bank there. Looking pretty good. We definitely got enough to go buy some of the higher tiered players that we need to get for live series collections. I'm not gonna do that just yet. We're still gonna wait, still gonna build some packs. Like I said, I'm going through one more mini seasons for the team affinity stuff here we should net a nice little you know bundle of packs there and then hopefully hopefully we'll get lucky again hopefully we will get lucky again but the luck's been pretty solid so far this season and i'm at a point now where i'm kind of ready to sit down and start playing some more ranked i've only played two ranked season games we're sitting two and oh but i've got a pretty good lineup here and i want to start using some of these cards so i think in the next ranked season video we're going to do which should be the next video that i end up recording probably shortly after i record this one we're going to debut probably both Bob Gibson and Kyle Tucker in that one and see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully we continue the win streak, get to 3-0 and start pushing. And eventually we're going to get into BR. I don't know when, but we're eventually going to get there. So yeah, another good day. Another good pack opening. Finish another mini season. Let's get it. Peace.